Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Yo, yeah, this yeah. Nigga, yeah. He's tripping. I was recording a seizure. What's going on? <laughs> nah, I was just working on what the beginning of a skit on my first LP would sound like. If it were 96. For real? Are you serious? Word? <laughs> nah, I mean, maybe. Nah, I don't, I don't think so anyways. Random? A mm -hmm, little bit. Yeah. yeah. I hate it here. Yeah, I know. Now y'all saw on the thumbnail, and I really am curious as to what your answers would be as to how you would feel if for the fifth DLC for Sifu, they added a third phase to all the boss fights. Would y'all bangs with that or nah? I'm gonna have to make a community post about it and see what y'all say. As for right now, this is all speculation, but remember in my last vid when I mentioned the pushback of the 4th Seafood DLC and I also mentioned the addition of the 5th Seafood DLC? And then we got the official Arenas trailer, which was lit, but still left us not knowing anything about what the 5th DLC for Seafood consisted of. Now, if there's one thing I want you to know about your boy is that he really doesn't like to make assumptions, but I'm gonna make a couple. For the 5th DLC, I do assume that we'll get more outfits, seeing as how we've gotten outfits for every DLC that's dropped and I also think they'll add more arenas from the already confirmed arenas mode in the fourth DLC so why not add more for the fifth one you feel me it only makes sense earlier I hopped on that platform where all the birds be tweeting and I came across a new one from Seafood Game that linked us to the art director's public portfolio. And in the public portfolio, it had this pic that I'm showing you on the screen and a comment that essentially explained that when they were originally working on Seafood, each boss was actually going to have three phases. As y'all can see in this pic, Fajar's outfit even changes a third time for that third phase. With that being said, I know we all remember our first experiences fighting each one of these bosses and the sheer thought of them having a third phase makes me shiver a little bit since it got crazier and crazier from phase to phase even though there were only two phases. But seeing as how we're all grandmasters now, I actually think it would be dope to add a third phase. The only thing is that I would recommend is that we get the option. Maybe a new game plus. That way in the new game plus you add a third phase in the regular new game, you get to keep your two phases. That's how I would do it anyway. But I want to know if y'all are jacking that or not. Let me know down in the comments. Also, I wanted to add for my Xbox and Steam subscribers, y'all are lit too because Sifu is coming to both. Now we already know Sifu was already on PC, but you had to get it through the Epic Game Store before. Now it's going to be on Steam as well, and it already dropped on Switch, so we all lit. And mentioning that this is coming to Steam and Xbox, it brought me to my next point, which is this crazy shit. March 2023 will be the time to prove yourself. In the brand new arenas expansion, you can beat the living daylights out of your enemies in epic combat moments. You've taken kung fu movie action to new heights by adding 9 dynamic locations, 5 distinct game modes, 50 challenges, multiple hours of gameplay, and endless opportunities to survive through your own action scenes. Fire. I know we all gotta be hyped about that. And apparently, there will also be a movie adaptation of it, which is really dope. And I'll definitely be watching that when it finishes. I mean, y'all remember that trailer, either the day it came out or right before it came out, that was about eight to nine minutes. And it was just beautiful kung fu-ness. Now imagine an hour and a half to two hours of that. It might make a brother cry. I'm not soft or nothing though, I mean. Even if it happens to be caught on video, I promise you I'm gonna tell you it's allergies. With all that being said, the point that I'm trying to make is Sifu and Slow Clap are making big moves, which I couldn't be happy about. And it can't help but to make me think what this is gonna mean for their next installment. Like how much they're gonna be able to put into that and how much bigger that might be. So I'm just saying, Future's looking real bright, y'all go fam. But all right, y'all. That's all I really have for y'all today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And keep your eye on the community tab because I'm going to be posting some more polls or what y'all want to see. I'm going to have some more news and reviews. And I'll figure out what games to play. Wanted Dead might be the next one. That or Ishin Like a Dragon might be the next one that I try to play on the channel. But we'll see what we can do. But I'm going to catch y'all in the next vid, all right? I love y'all. Peace.